Early warning indicators do what they say on the tin. They provide an early indication about the potential for financial crisis. Crises take root in the disruptive nature of financial cycle booms, which are, however, hard to detect in real time. And this is where the early warning indicators come in. An indicator changes color if it crosses a critical threshold. We looked at the past to find these thresholds by minimizing the ratio of wrong alarms to correctly predicted crisis so that the red threshold was crossed for at least 66% of past crises. Take the United Kingdom. The red line indicates the critical threshold for the credit to GDP gap. The red circles show correct signals during the three years preceding the crisis in the early 90s and in 2007. Black circles, however, show wrong alarms. Not all crises were preceded by a red warning signal. So, to avoid a false sense of precision, we also chose a lower amber threshold that was breached ahead of 90% of past events. Early warning indicators are not perfect. And given they are not perfect, the statement that 66% of crises were preceded by an early warning indicator signal is not the same as saying that the probability of a financial crisis is 66% once we see a signal. In fact, it turns out that the probability of a financial crisis is around 50% once we see an early warning indicator signal. However, it may even take more than three years. It is also important to note that all these relationships are based on the past. Things may change going forward. And we looked across countries, so we don't take country-specific factors into account. And last, we only consider vulnerabilities linked to the financial cycle.